Hey everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever the time that you are in. So uh, today we are uh, um, having a demo on the NetSuite functional training. So uh, NetSuite, it's an Oracle application which is used to track the ERP system. So MindMagix uh, is partnering uh, to provide trainings on uh, various applications. Uh, right now we are on the demo of NetSuite functional training. So I work for Oracle NetSuite, so where I implement, support, and uh, work on the suite applications that uh, are used for within the NetSuite application. I have almost uh, five years of experience in uh, building up, I mean, configuring up the NetSuite system, creating up new applications, giving support to the clients where they are stuck up anywhere in those applications. I usually provide supports to them. Apart from the professional point of view, I do also provide supports, I mean, freelancing stuff like trainings uh, to the students and also end clients or corporate people, like how the mind magics are provided. The scope of the demo, like uh, how, uh, what are the different things that uh, we are going to discuss in this uh, demo and uh, what is the main concept or main scope of this particular demo? So the basic understanding of business. So what do you mean by business? Business is nothing but selling and purchasing of goods or services. It could be anything like it, it could not only be a sale or not call it a purchase. It could be a service or it could be an item that you'd be selling and purchasing or you are fabricating your own items and selling them. So business, uh, in just one word, business is selling or buying of goods or services. Whether it could be offline, whether it could be online. Offline, you go to a store, buy a product. Online, you go to Amazon, buy a product. That's a basic understanding of a business. So in order to uh, know or better understand the net suite, you need to understand the business first. So business, a lot of differentiates, uh, a lot of things that you need to know about the business, like what is a B2B business, what is a B2C business, business to customers, business to business, and what are the different verticals under a business, okay? So NetSuite is one of the application uh, which provides you to track your business. So NetSuite is just an application used to track the business. So it has all around the stuff, like it has uh, accounting, it has CRM, it has order management, it has inventory management, whatnot. Everything is has within NetSuite. Whatever the company needs for tracking their business. Okay. So before going to the NetSuite, deep into the NetSuite, one should know what is an ERP. ERP means Enterprise Resource Planning. So how do you plan your resources within an enterprise, within a business? So resources could be anything. Resources could be an items, resources could be and customers, employees, or your warehouses, it could be anything. How do you plan your resources? How do you use your resources in order to make the profits in your business? And to track all these things, you need to have an application. And for that, we use NetSuite. For that, the business guys will use NetSuite. What are the different competitors of NetSuite? Salesforce, Zoho. Okay, you have a lot of other things, QuickBooks, Microsoft Dynamics. Okay, so it all depends on you, whether uh, you want to go with a, a consultant or whether you want to go with a business analytics. Like, so it, it all depends on the, what type of roles and responsibilities of a consultant is. So coming to the roles and responsibilities of a consultant. So you are the key person who will contact the client and ask them about the requirements on how to implement the NetSuite for them. Okay, so you are the main point of contact for clients on how uh, how to configure the system, what are the different things to set up, how the chart of accounts should be set up, all those things. Like we'll discuss more in depth uh, of how what are the different responsibilities of the consultant friends. So the main outline, what are the different things that we are going to discuss in our uh, like in our trainings, like the curriculum of the the course, like. Uh, so how to log in into the next suite, uh, what is the navigation, where to find what, where to find the transactions, where to find the items, stuff like that. 
and uh, how do you rename the records these are the different things that we are going to discuss in our training so how do you enter the masters masters are nothing but the items uh, customers vendors employees accounts all these are masters so one world uh, what is a one world uh, what do you call why we call is a one world accounts basic accounts swift success accounts a lot of differentiates uh, that we do how do you create the custom forms how do you migrate the data from your old system to the new netsuite system how do you create the searches reports uh, that the client require how do you manage your inventory how do you set up your items how do you transfer so all the inventory management stuff will, will be discussed in this trend so a lot of more like uh, my magics will show you uh, what are the other topics that we are going to discuss uh, in our trainings so what are the add on topics that uh, we may discuss it all depends on the student requirements like uh, what are the different areas that they were more interested in uh, or are other additional topics that they want to learn about so we have a lot of other uh, like advanced modules basic modules a uh, lot of other stuff as well like uh, first sweet bundle when we can bundle the uh, applications bundle the functionalities and uh, this is used to move the functionalities between accounts between environments between sandbox production production to sandbox stuff like that and then marketing campaigns how do you track or calculate the marketing uh, the the investment that you have put on the marketing this we call it as marketing to roi return on investments so due to uh, like by using this marketing campaigns one can generate the leads one can generate the prospects uh, that may eventually become customers to the product to the company and then crm how do you maintain your relationship with your customers all the uh, aspects of the crm like how uh, case supports that we uh, provide to the customers all those stuff will be discussed in the crm part and the roles and permissions what are the different like netsuite is a role oriented application so based on the role that you have you will see the access you will get the access to a particular records or particular thing so all the roles and that uh, that we give us what are the different permissions what is the level of permissions all those stuff will be discussed in this training and additional resources that you can get uh, to learn more about these applications will be a sweet answers which is one of the most useful resources that you can that you will use uh daily uh, in your uh, work life because it's like a google uh, google search or google for your netsuite application so you can find whatever you want about the applications right here in the sweet answers we'll we'll, we'll show you how this is used and how to use this to derive the uh, better results from the search that you are searching for and then next week free default documents will give you a lot of uh, information the step by step information of anything that you want like how to create what how to do this how to delete that how to create that all these things will be uh, shown up in free default documents that are uh, provided by next week coming to the projects like uh, so we have uh, two projects here like uh, you see the retail project like as i said you need to know the business knowledge first before coming to this so what do you mean by retail market what do you mean by wholesale market what do you mean by manufacturing market what do you mean by service market so these are the different verticals in the business so you need to understand these verticals in order to understand the business first so this project is like uh, it's a company it's a retail company so as you see the project here like it's an integrated implementation of uh, net suite for a retail company so retail company means like it's like a b2c business to customer stuff like that retail an example could be supermarkets is a b2c retail companies you uh, one example could be aditya birla retail uh, companies the supermarkets okay it's a retail company so if you want to implement netsuite uh, for that type of uh, companies or that type of verticals this is a project how you can get the requirements how do you implement it Uh, what are the different requirements that you need to get as a consultant uh, from the uh, client from the company or from the end company who wants to implement a suite for their company for uh, tracking their business so first you need to understand why they are going with a net suite why uh, why not with the previous uh, application 
So what is the problem here? Like problem statement. Analyze the requirements of implementing a complete integrated solutions for the retail product business. So analyze the problems, bring up the solution for them. What are the different topics that we are going to discuss? What are the different things that we are highlighting here in the projects? Like the real-time analytics, supports uh, with the seamless multiplication and inventory management, order to cash, how do you maintain your relationship with your customers uh, at multiple points? And uh, how do you maintain your uh, you know, pricing of your items or the promotion of your items uh, up here in this project? So it all depends on, yeah, like you'll be uh, well versed like, uh, when you come up with these projects or come up with these NetSuite applications first. And then uh, the project two, like as I said, like yeah, again, uh, you need to understand the concepts of verticals here. Like uh, the second project is like uh, manufacturing industries. So uh, NetSuite is used for any type of uh, business. It's not only used for a heavy uh, business or a light business, very small scale industries or whatever. It can be used by any type of industries, uh, any type of, any scale of business. It could be a small scale, it could be a mid scale, or it could be a large scale industries. So how NetSuite is useful for manufacturing and what are the different features that are provided by NetSuite here in this manufacturing modules or manufacturing sector? So the main problem, understand the problem, how uh, they are uh, having a problem with their companies and how they want to implement NetSuite and uh, upcome their uh, problems that they have having with their old systems. Like NetSuite provides a lot of scope uh, to decrease uh, the, the stress that they are facing with this, with their uh, old applications. Like they have a lot of uh, modules here that covers, uh, that are required by a manufacturing industry. So like you see here, how do uh, automatically balance the demand and supply of, of the products? How do you uh, produce that many uh, products based on the demand? How do you manage all your products in one place? I mean, in one warehouse or one location? How do you update? How do you create? How do you monitor your work orders? Work orders are nothing but the assemblies that you do uh, within your fabrication point. So the, I'm talking about the manufacturing here. So think of a manufacturing company or a fabrication company, okay, who manufactures uh, any product, okay. So think of the real world, like whenever I'm talking, uh, think of a real world so that you'll, you'll be easily grasping out this uh, very easily. Okay. Order management, how do the order management works? Order management is not only a single thing. Order management involves a lot of stuff, like sales orders, opportunities, invoices, payments, returns, a lot of stuff will be involved in order. Supply chain management, how do you supply your products to different locations? How do you maintain your supply chain management? And financial management, obviously financial management is one of the, the important uh, aspect uh, of any ERP business. The quality management, uh, so it will give you the quality checks. How do you, uh, what are, how the quality of, of a product that you have fabricated or that you have assembled or that you have purchased from a vendor. If you want to check the quality uh, of, uh, of the products then you will use this quality management module where you can check the qualities and uh, whether it is pass or fail. All these things, these are the advanced modules that are used to, that are used in the manufacturing industries. So remember, like every module, like every advanced modules is uh, an extra price like that you, that you need to separately procure it from the NetSuite. It doesn't come uh, with a free NetSuite thing. And then uh, coming up to the lab setup, like, uh, so for the trainees, uh, we'll, we'll provide uh, access where you can get the training on. I mean, you can practice there and you can know the application better. So to have that uh, running in your uh, things, you need to have these prerequisites and the system requirement should be this. The high speed internet because NetSuite is a cloud-based application, if you don't know. So NetSuite is a cloud-based, you can uh, surf anywhere, anytime on any device. Okay, you just need to have an internet and you need, just need to have any device. It could be accessible in mobile phone, tab or a laptop or a desktop or a TV, Android TV, anything. Okay. So the system requirements are, 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 are as below, like Microsoft, uh, Windows 7 and above, Panel Digital Power Desk, uh, 16 GB RAM, four cores of CPUs, all those basic requirements uh, that you will get in any device.
So we do uh, uh, helping the students on how to crack the interviews, what are the different questions that may ask in the interviews, and uh, how to answer them, how, how do they prepare their uh, resumes. So all these things will be helped uh, by uh, MindMagics here. Uh, okay. So, and we also conduct uh, some mock interviews so that uh, so the students get, you know, positiveness about the interviews, how they're going to be, how they'll be uh, asking the questions in the real-time interviews. And then certifications coming to the para certifications, like my magics provide the course completion certificates. Apart from that, we'll provide some guidance on how to certify it in particular uh, applications or in particular domains that you are taking the trainings on. So NetSuite has a lot of uh, training I mean, certifications here. So the basic certification is Suite Foundations exams. So where you can uh, appear for this exam uh, to get it certified as a Suite Foundation consultant. It's a very easy uh, exam. Like uh, you just need to have a, a year, of, year of experience on NetSuite application to, to crack this uh, exam. And uh, this is a basic foundation exam. So you need to, everyone need to pass this in order to go for the next uh, certification. So the next certification is administrator certification, ERP console certifications, and the cloud-based. I mean the the developers like who do coding, they have this sweet cloud developer certifications. Okay, there are other certifications like uh, financial user, financial consultant, uh, other types of certifications. But the main certifications for a consultant will be the first three, Suite Foundation Administrative Certification. The ERP Consultant Certification is a higher certification that any consultant could have in NetSuite. Uh, this is how the, the, the course completion certification would look like uh, from the mind matrix that they provide after uh, completing course. That's the end of presentation here for the day. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to share your feedback or if you have any queries, related to your uh, course or related to anything, you can reach out to the below email address or the below phone numbers that are on the screen.